Hey guys, welcome back to another campaign challenge. Today, our challenge is going to be to kill Kushluk within 20 minutes. Winter has come to the steppes. The earth is frozen hard as bone, and the only movement is the steam rising from the nostrils of men and horses. Only the promise of battle brings warmth. Nearly all of the tribes in Mongolia now answer to Genghis Khan, but with success comes enemies. A man named Kushluk has challenged Genghis's right to rule. Kushluk sows discord among the Karakatai Khanate and means to have himself proclaimed as a rival Khan. Genghis cannot allow these transgressions to go unpunished. He needs to set an example. So we ride west to find and slay Kushluk. If the Karakatai shelter him, then their lives are forfeit as well. Alright, kill the traitor Kushluk and prevent the wonder from being destroyed. Uh, let's see, 25. Well, 125 population. I don't think we actually need to worry about that. Uh, the Nyman. Didn't we... And the Taichudes. Didn't we kill one of them in the first scenario? Anyway, let's just go. Alright. So, I think there's an old speedrunning trick where basically Kush looks here. Village to the north. Perhaps the inhabitants can be persuaded to join us. So, basically, what we want to do, oh, hello, sheep, is kind of come down here. If we go like too close to this palisade, he's going to run away to the back, if I remember correctly. So, we want to kind of go down beneath, and I guess that cliff's in the way, and try to attack a lower side of this palisade. Oop. Let's just put all these on the same hockey for now. And no attack stance so they don't actually get out of control. And we'll come around down by these cliffs. We'll try to stay as far down as possible. Is that the palisade itself that we need to attack? No, I think we have to go inside there. I don't know if there's an opening, but we'll just attack down here. Guy does not want to join the formation. There we go. And how far around does this palisade go? Yeah, down to here. And we try to break in from down here. And then we'll break that one. And there might be another palisade there. So, a whole three palisade walls. Good thing that I think they have less HP than they did back in AOC. Alright, there's one palisade. Get the cav archers situated closer to it. Oh no, they, they're coming for us. I don't think they're gonna die. We should be fine. Oh, one of them might die. Uh, get in, get in, get in. Alright. And go for this wall. I guess maybe the camels are the important ones to keep alive. Maybe these guys can debate back and forth or something. Uh oh, that's a big army. Yeah, come on, get the palisade down. I wish hacking uphill. Okay, so this plan didn't work. Rip. Okay, let's see. This double palisade got in the way. I oh, probably shouldn't reveal the map when you're defeated, because you might show off secrets, but we'll take advantage of that. I guess the next thing we can try is avoid this wall, either by going inside of it, or by just going up here. And no attack stance again. Get you to form up. I spotted a Tai Chud village to the north. Perhaps the inhabitants can be persuaded to join us. And we'll see if we can run to the inside of that palisade this time. There's the tower. And we'll go Ushla around the is inside. Our guest. It would be most rude for us to send him away. Maybe I could just use you to debate. Oh yes. The debate is working. Is 
there another unit we can use to debate? Yes, there is. We just go away. And now we go for this palisade and we try not to attack it from downhill. We'll go for this one instead. And that looks more successful, I think. Come on, we can do it. Just get in there and attack the palisade. Okay, I guess we'll have to do a better job of using runners next time. Alright, so that did not work. But you're still alive. Alright, let's try that again. Let's take a close look at where their army is set up. So they do actually have quite a few cavalry archers. But they're all kind of down here. I spotted a Tai Chud village to the north. Yes, it's just your Tai Chud village. Can be Maybe what we us. do is we send like one one or two light calf to run around here, collect the cavalry archers, and run them around down to here. And then we send everyone in either down here or at the top. Because if we get them to come down to here, they're not going to delete their walls, come back in, they're just gonna run around. Yes, yeah, so let's let's try that. So once again, everyone on no attack stance, and we'll grab a couple of light calf to do some. I spotted a Tai Chu village in the north. Perhaps the inhabitants can be persuaded to join us. Let's get them to group up first. Let's see, where is that tower? Kushlak is our guest. It would be most rude for us to send him away. And there's some cav archers. Okay, and now I think we've gotten most of the people we need to be following us. And just go in that path. Okay, we probably actually need to make sure that they follow and don't stop chasing. And now we just hope that they chase and don't stop. Oh, looks like they're falling for it. Let's just see how far down we can go. All right, now you guys come in, and hopefully they have... Oh, we can attack farms in the Frog of War. That's a bug. Let's make sure they're all still following. Yes, they are. Perfect. And now we can come down. No, no, don't run back. Now, they have... now they're going to have to go all the way around that wall to get back into their places. We come down here. And we simply attack this palisade wall now that everyone else is gone. Okay, this is looking good. There's a few light calf, but they're only light calf. I can fend them off with a single camel, probably. Or maybe not with a single camel, but she'll do a good job. Okay, we're through. Now it's just time to kill Kushluk. And hope we have enough forces to do so. We must flee. And I don't think we're gonna have the units to kill him. Just one camel. Alright. Okay, I think we probably just need to try one more time. To get this debate to work. I spotted a Tai Chud village to the north. Perhaps the inhabitants can be persuaded to join us. This cracked earth here. Let's let's see if we can maybe just get this one scout to debate them by attacking that tower. And does that lure them out? Oh, that looks like it is luring some of them out. Perfect, perfect. Oh yes, yes. Kushluk is our guest. It would be most rude for us to send him away. Just walk away that way, and you guys come down here. Okay, so that worked out very nicely. Ah, my mouse cursor's not claimed the screen. I clicked outside. That shouldn't happen. <laughs> okay, seems like we're in the clear this time. So 
so that worked a lot better. Okay, I think we got him now. It's Jenga's yeah, go for we must flee. Need to get him to stop, and there we go. Let's zoom in on him, get that text box out of the way. And no, don't try to flee. Okay, he's going for the cavalrys. Get back on the hill. There we go. We got Such him. Is the vengeance of the great Khan. In only three minutes. Okay. That worked out nicely. Now hopefully we can end the scenario before I get defeated. Krishlok has resigned. We are victorious. GG. Okay. Don't even need to fight the. Tide shoots, they really wanted to protect that tower. This is what we learned in the Milan scenario, you just kind of debate the AI into chasing one unit. And like everything in their base went after that one scout. Okay, so that's a useful thing to know for some of these challenges. Anyway, let's go check out the uh the cinematic. Genghis Khan knows that there are weapons aside from the lance and bow. He is a master of mental warfare. Just as he has made an example of Kushluk, he makes examples of enemy lands. When we first encounter a new adversary, the Great Khan spares no one. We ride to the closest town, slay every living thing, burn down the city, sow the fields with salt, and make a mountain of enemy skulls. After that, the other towns are quick to send forth their emissaries, eager to placate the ravenous Mongol hordes. Okay, the... Yeah, the Kushluk lost one unit, and it was Kushluk. We killed one unit, and it was Kushluk. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.